Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. If you're new, welcome back to all of you who have subscribed and who have recently subscribed. Thank you so much for joining my channel. I feel like it's been about a couple of weeks since my last upload and I promise you guys I'm going to get back on track with regular uploads. Things have just been so hectic personally. Everything exciting, all good things and I'll share that with you later on in this video and also in the next series of videos you'll see in my channel. Trust me, you'll know more in just a bit at the very end of this video but thank you guys for sticking with me thank you for tuning into another video please enjoy this plant walkthrough and I'll check back in with you guys in a little bit to pop back in and say of all the beautiful plants you're going to see in this video this moonshine snake plant is what tempted me the most i love the moonshine snake plant it's my favorite of all the snake plant varieties and I, it, it was really tough to leave that behind but i did i already have two at home i i can't promise i'm never going to pick one up in the future but that one was tough
Hi guys, we're all done with Home Depot. I'm going inside Target just because I need to pick up a couple of supplies. Um, I just need to repot some of my plants that I have um, propagating in the water. I just want to get them up in some soil. And I think that's it for today. So let's go. So I'm back home now and I'm getting ready to repot my Monstera Deliciosas. I have a few of them that I've been propagating in water for quite a while now. I would say a few months and they're just ready to get potted up in some soil. Um, in Home Depot, I ended up picking up this little plastic um, nursery pot. This one is eight inches and I also got a 10 inch pot. If you guys are familiar with my videos, I've seen any of them in the past and you know I love these little plant pots from Home Depot. They are lightweight. They are lightweight because they're plastic, as you can see, very light. I do still have some ceramic um, plants and planters that I still absolutely adore, but just because of the lightweightness of this and it's a neutral color, I'm not one of those neutral folks that everything has to be neutral black and whites and whites and creams, but I just like this one because it goes with everything. So the reason why I am planting those and transferring it from the water propagations to the potted soils is because I'm getting ready to move. I'm going to make a separate video about my plants and how I'm going to prepare them for a move because I've been watching a ton of videos and just trying to figure out the best way to move my plants in a moving truck without them getting damaged. One plant in particular, I know we're about to talk about me potting up my plants, but one plant I'm especially concerned about is my aloe plant. Let me show it to you. Look at how this guy grows. It grows every which way. I have no idea how I'm going to prepare this one for a move. If you guys have any tips, please leave them for me in the comments. Ooh, I thought it was about to tip over. If you guys have any um, tips for how I can move, safely move this plant, please let me know. If not, honestly, I'm probably just going to like put it in the car. The place we're moving to, it's technically within driving distance but um it will survive if i just kind of put it on the floor because I, I don't want this to get damaged this is one of my favorite plants i just love my aloe plant because it was on the brink of me getting rid of it to be honest um that was when i was still fairly new to being a plant parent and this did not always look like this. This plant was on the verge of death, to be honest with you. So if you guys have any questions about this plant and the lifespan of this plant, I'm happy to make a separate video about it. But I just wanted to show you this plant because I'm just hoping it survives the move. Baby, you give me ice and fire. You're giving me wind and rain. 